is so nice. I hate water levels in all the new Super Mario Bros. games, so I went through every single water level and removed the water. We'll be starting with 1-4, and while this isn't technically a water level, there is one section with water, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just see what the section is like without it. So basically, to get here, it requires a mini Mario. We're gonna go into this pipe, and normally, this ground would be covered in water, but now, it is not. And the only purpose of this room is just to get the star coin. Next, we have 1A. So with 1A, this is our first real water level in uh, Mario Bros. DS. Uh, as you can see, I've removed the water here, and um, I don't think we're gonna get through this one because there's a massive gap that's gonna be a problem. And uh, yeah, this is this is a little weird, isn't it? I'm just kind of walking on the ground. Oh, so we still have the auto scroll. I forgot. I basically kept everything in here. Also, by the way, shout outs to the people. I have their names, all those people for helping make this possible. But anyway, uh, let's do a jump and um, we're dead. Now I do have a mega mushroom. Here goes nothing, right? Game didn't like that. Game said no. Okay, so we got ourselves a mini mushroom. Here we go. Woo! And not dead. So next we have two, three, and uh, I believe the water is supposed to rise in this level. Um, we're not gonna have obviously we're not gonna have any rising water. Normally you would hit this switch and water would rise up. Uh, we're gonna hit it. Nothing happens. So is it possible to actually escape? I think. Probably yes, but definitely not with this power-up. I'm assuming that we can use the mini mushroom. Uh, my only assumption is we'll be able to possibly wall jump. Oh, we do not get a lot of height with that. Oh, God. Uh, okay. If we, maybe if we wall jump higher? Like here? No, we're still not even close. Next, we've got 2A, which is another more proper water level. We'll see if we have more success with this one. And we're basically going to have to rely on all these springs to get across. And if, we, if these springs weren't there, there's no way we could do this. Like, it would be literally impossible otherwise. We can kind of follow these coins a little bit. Oh! Oh, can I bounce off? Yo, yes, extra jump! Okay, that was cool. I didn't even consider doing that. Okay, now this... Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. So we're not gonna get the secret exit. That's fine. I don't even... I don't think there's any way to get up there. Wait! Oh, no! Oh! Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on! Oh! <gasps> Okay. Woo! That was terrifying. Can't believe how much I'm using this mini mushroom. Yes, yes, let's go. Mini saving the day. Oh my god, that ending was so scary. Next, we've got 2-4. Again, there's not a lot of water in this level, but there is some in a very particular spot, which might actually make this impossible. You might remember this level and how there is normally water down here. Now it's not here, and uh, we kind of have to get across towards the right. Bit of an issue because there's kind of a plant right there in a massive yellow pipe. So what we're going to do, of course, is use the mini mushroom, see if we can clutch this out, get a nice big jump. Oh, that okay, that might actually be possible. So go now. Yes. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Now moving on to 3-1. This is probably, I would say, the most memorable water level in this game. I don't know what it is. There's something about seeing that big old cheap cheap right at the beginning. God, this still feels so weird. Ooh, I might actually want to... Oh, God. You know what? I'm going to bust out the mini mushroom. I'm getting a little nervous here. I'm not going to lie. Getting a wee bit nervous. I cannot believe that just happened. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab... Never mind. I'm not going to... I just realized I can't get it. Never mind. Oh, no. Okay, so literally our only option is Mini Mario again at that part. Hmm, all right, so this might serve as a huge problem. Now, I do have an idea. I could potentially try to... Uh, no, that doesn't quite work. Okay, I jumped at the ex actually, like, last part, the last frame I could think of, and... And next up, we have 3A. I actually don't remember at all what this level looks like. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm busting out Mini. Okay, single jump. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is scary. Oh my god. Hey, you know what? Maybe there'll be enough platforms to make it. Also, why is why is Mini Mario like bouncing? That's really weird. Why is this a bouncy property? So what I'm thinking I'm actually gonna have to do, as crazy as this sounds, is I need to keep landing on these um middle parts of the Ferris wheel. Yeah, because I don't do that weird jumping thing. Okay, so we don't have access to the mini mushroom. And what? Okay, the Ferris wheels are glitched. 
Come on! Oh my god, it's so close. Oh! Just jumping good works. Okay. I genuinely have no idea if I'm gonna clear this, so let's just full blast it. Full blast, baby! Oh, that's so close, that's so close. Okay. I think we can clear this, we just need a, a double jump. Okay, single... Double... Ah, oh, Almost. Oh! I can't believe that just happened. Okay, here we go. I mean, I even bounced off the Koopa, got maximum speed. However, with that said, I do have an idea. If I let it fall more like... No, see, it spawns too early. Oh, I almost hit it though. See, it's so low it wouldn't have mattered, but I did almost get up there. Okay, I think this level's impossible, unfortunately. Despite all of that effort, I just don't see how you could possibly get across. Next up, we have 3C. Hopefully, this level will fare us a little bit better. And the entire bottom is just, you know, gone. So hopefully, there's enough platforms to get across. So far, this is a lot easier than before. Yeah, this is like, we're already at the checkpoint. This is insanely easy. There you have it, 3C, way, way easier and actually possible. Now our next level is gonna be three tower and what's gonna be very interesting about this one is really the only water part I'm concerned about is the Bowser Jr. fight. So there has not been any water in sight, hence why I've not really shown you anything, but now we're getting to the actual boss fight. We'll see if anything kind of changes with this. And now moving on back to a more normal water level from 3-3. Uh, Okay, first introduction to bloopers in this game. Very big jump, little concerned, especially since this blooper is really uh, starting to work, kind of freak me out a little bit. Okay, we're able to clear that with Mini Mario. I cannot believe we're doing this whole thing with Mini Mario. I guess I should have expected that, but like, I don't know, I just never envisioned like having to do that. Oh my God, dude, this blooper? I hate the blooper, just to let you know I hate him. All right, there we go, clearing that. Gonna, I guess we're going, can I just like walk across? <laughs> yes! We can just walk across now. We don't even have to hit that switch. That's funny, okay. All right, let's see if we can get our way up ourselves. Okay, we're just floating in the air. Can you please move? I, I wanna kill this blooper so bad. So I think we're gonna be able to just wall jump our way up this. Yeah, 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 let's go. Blooper's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Hey, the, okay, you know what? I'll take that. Thank you, Water Geyser, for once. Oh god, how am I gonna get up there? Oh, that's gonna be a tricky one. That is, that is, okay. Now, Three Castle, I believe, is entirely a, uh, a water castle, or, well, not entirely a water castle, but, because, like, we don't usually interact with the water in this stage. Okay, is he even gonna spawn? Because, uh, I definitely did not delete him. So, Cheap Skipper not spawning. Um, I have officially softlocked myself. 65 Cheap Skipper. So as you can see, I did not delete Cheap Skipper. You can see his name is highlighted on the left side of the screen. So I guess you literally have to have water to be able to fight Cheap Skipper. Next, we'll go ahead and try out 4-3. All right, another normal water level. Oh, but it's an auto scroller this time. Could be a dilemma. I kind of don't want to touch that yet. It's a very good chance I'm going to need Mini Mario for something. Oh my god, I forgot about these levels. Okay, Yunagi, you can just chill. I really hope I don't run into him again. Okay. That's a problem. Okay, here we go, here we go. Jump! Survive! Next, we'll be diving into 6-2. And uh, this level might actually be okay. This is another level where the water just kind of rises. Okay, that that's totally doable. We can definitely do that. There you have it, Mini Mario, just efficient AF. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Oh, wait a minute. So maybe I can do... That's just not enough height, there's no way. Because my only option is literally somehow reach the green pipe wall jump to reach the left side of the wall. I think this level is impossible. Next up, we've got 8-2. This level in particular is fairly challenging on its own. Yeah, as you can see, super hard. Because yeah, normally this one really relies on water. I think I'm just stuck down here. Like, there is no way. If I had, like, the spin jump from Mario Bros. U... Oh, wait. Okay, okay, that works. But now, how do I get up here? 
I am not gaining any height. I am slowly de, de uh, yeah, descending. This is just a little too far for me to be able to gain height, so 8-2 also not possible. Now, I believe the last level for Mario Bros. DS we'll be trying is 8-3. I'm a little interested how I'm going to get up here. I guess, I guess I'm just going to wall jump. Okay, that's not so bad. Oh, this is scary. That's really scary. Oh my god, this is... It's not hard, it's just terrifying. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, it should be doable though. Now, there is going to be the super massive Yunagi we have to worry about coming up. That's not going to be till after this section of just kind of climbing up. Oh, can I even get... Oh gosh. Oh, I think I can get up here barely. Wait, can I? As far as I'm aware, I cannot wall jump off. If I can't wall jump off this side, why would I be able to wall jump off this side? I can't. And I definitely can't get enough height. That's basically Mario Bros. DS. With that, let's move on to Mario Bros. Wii. Spaghetti is love. Spaghetti is life. Just like with DS, we'll be starting with 1-4. Now, what is nice is we have the propeller suit in this game. Can I? Oh, I can go up here, can I? I didn't even realize that. I didn't know you could go up here. That's kind of cool. Okay, well, this is easy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous now. I'm gonna lose the suit. Yep, okay. I really need the propeller suit now, so this is kind of a problem. I don't think I can make much... Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I can big brain this. I can literally just big brain this, dude. Okay, here we go. Come on. Careful. Oh, God. Oh, God. I do not have a lot of time to work with. I'm dead. Honestly, I can just do this. Yeah, we're good. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, man, so I actually do need the propeller suit. You know, so much of this level is just waiting for these cheap cheap to pass so that I can get across. All right, and wait, what? Hold on, you saw that. Those fish just disappeared out of thin air. What the heck? Okay, that was freaking weird. So next we have 2-2. Two, two. There is only a couple of sections with water, so we're just going to try those out. So there is supposed to be water in this section. Um, however, there is no more water. This is our second water section in this level. We're supposed to uh, run across the water to be able to reach the star coin. But do we even need the water? The answer is a big fat no. And next we have 3-3. Three, three. All right, let's just jump across. I don't feel like waiting. Okay. Ah, okay. That's a problem, though. So run across. <laughs> okay, that was terrifying. Let's try this. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. Okay, this is much more straightforward. Pretty sure this is, like, basically the end. So really, the only hard part of this level was just the beginning without the water. Now we have entered the water world of Mario Bros. We will be starting, of course, with 4-1. So this could either be extremely easy or near impossible at some points. But I guess we'll see how it goes. <laughs> the fish disappeared again. All right. Okay, we're going to have to big brain this again. Let's go! Hell yeah! Oh, that feels good. That feels freaking gamer. Why do these purple fish keep disappearing? I don't understand. Also, I'm completely screwed. How on earth am I going to get across? Okay, here goes nothing. Highest point. Okay, so we can make it. All right. So, yeah, just, just in case you didn't know, this power-up is goddamn broken. Also, god damn it, I'm dead. Can we just be uh, extra gamer, bounce off all of them? Ah! <laughs> I tried to not use my spin jump, but kind of had to. And next we've got 4-2. I believe there's supposed to be big scary fish that's supposed to jump at us. I don't see him at all. All I see is cheap cheeps jumping at us, which is fine. How big is this jump? Ooh. Oh, yo, stars. Yes. Yes. Let's go. It's exactly what we want, actually. All right, and there you have it. And next, of course, we'll try 4-3. Okay, and this is, again, another level where normally the water would raise up and down. I also took out the water geysers, because, you know, it's that's also water, technically. Damn, that was the whole level. <laughs> so next, we've got 4 Tower. Now, this one doesn't revolve around that much water, from what I can remember. I think it's just, like, parts of it. Well, that was easy. Let's go ahead and try out 4-4. Four, four. All right. More proper water level. See if this one's an auto-scroller. Now, I know those purple fish are going to disappear. Oh, okay. He's got his whole family with him. That's that's not good. I kind of uh, needed that to not happen. I mean, I could probably do this without the stars. Oh, no. But I need to get up here now. Oh, come on, man. That's not good. Yes, we made it. Okay, we made it. Okay, we did at least one cool thing. And now onto four castle. 
So this level doesn't have a lot of water either, but I do believe the boss consists of it. Okay, this is the water section. Now I'm remembering this. All right. So, so far, this is immensely easier. So 5-1 is another level that only has a couple of parts here and there with water. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, freeze those boys. I almost died. That was terrifying. There's definitely supposed to be water here. You can just kind of tell it looks very empty. There's Okay, there's a cheap cheap. There's supposed to be water here too. Bam, bam. So for 5 Ghost House, there's basically going to be one area. And I believe that area is this door right here. So this is the room we got to get through without water. I don't really see how this is going to be difficult. That's very convenient. And that is uh, the only room with water. And next, we've got 6-3. Ah, uh, it's another one of those levels where we're supposed to rely on um, water to raise. However, we don't have that luxury. But what we do have is the ability to spin jump in the air, which is fantastic. It's going to allow us to do a lot of wall jumping and get extra height that we normally couldn't. Okay, again, there's supposed to be water. I might need the propeller suit to get up. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need the propeller suit. <laughs> how am I supposed to do this? I figured it out. I figured out how I'm supposed to do it. No, I lost my suit. He's dead and he's dead. Yes. Okay. We are big braining the hell out of this. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Get up. Okay. We're good. We're in the clear. Let's freaking go. So six, three, definitely a bit more of a challenging one, but totally doable. Okay. And now of course on to six, five, and it looks like this will be pretty easy actually, because again, I think a big fish is supposed to chomp after us now on to six, six. Now, I believe this is the, yeah, this is the water boat one. I don't know if this is going to have any sort of impact. It's just, it just <laughs> looks like we're just floating. It's like a ghost ship instead, you know? Now, 7-2 is going to be very interesting because I removed all of the water bubbles that you would normally need to get across. I believe I'm actually going to have to reset to get the propeller mushroom for this jump. All right. So, yeah, this is another level that's going to feel very empty without these bubbles. There's supposed to be like two or three of them here. 8-4 is another level where I think we're going to need the propeller mushroom to stand even a chance against it. I believe the pipe is going to be at a position where I'm not allowed to basically enter it. Yes, yeah, so I'm pretty sure that um, I'm supposed to be able... Yeah, yeah, okay, so I actually cannot enter this pipe because there needs to be a platform, like, literally right underneath it. So this is another level that is not to be possible. And our final one is going to be 9-2 for Mario Bros. Wii. Hell yeah. Not that hard of a jump to make, but still pretty satisfying. It's actually amazing how much easier this level is now. We don't have to worry about the beak fish. <laughs> cool. We did it. We are done with Mario Bros. Wii. Yoo-hoo! Now, of course, we're on to 1-2, starting with 1-5. Wait, did I just say 1-2, 1-5? We're on New Super Mario Bros. 2. I don't know what I'm saying. We're starting with a proper water level. I think we're going to have access to the gold leaf for all of these levels. Now, I'm actually curious. Can you... Okay, so you can kill the cheap cheeps with um, Tanuki Tail. I actually didn't know that. God, this... <laughs> Power-up's so stupid, but I love it so much. It's actually so dumb. Well, this ought to be an interesting little jump we got to do here. Oh, 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 come on. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, that was the most awkward series of jumps I've ever done. Oh my god, this is a problem. What am I supposed to do here? Okay, I managed to gain speed. Okay, I managed to gain speed. Let's go. All right. Holy crap, so that's all I had to do. I just had to gain some speed. Next up, we've got Mushroom 2. Can I kill these things? Yes, I can kill Mutanuki. That's pretty useful. Oh boy, this will be quite a jump. Ah, I'm, oh my god, I cannot believe I freaking took damage there. Honestly, it only kind of bothered me just because this level is so slow going. Can you go up here? You can. Okay, I have no idea what's even up here. I don't remember. Okay. Oh, this is all just for a star coin. Ah, not worth it. Can I go back down? Oh god, did I just soft lock myself? I think I legitimately just soft locked myself. Okay, there we have it. Moving on to 3-1. We'll see how this one goes. All right, well, this seems like it'll be pretty easy. All right, next we've got 3-2. Eh, you know what? Let, let's do it. I, I, you know what? I kind of have a feeling we're going to need this. Yo, what was going on with that tornado? It was uh, not having any of my business. I got, like, flown across the stage. That was weird. That was pretty simple, all things considered. Moving on to 3A next. I have no way of getting up here without a Tanuki unless... Okay, let me see. Can I... I like how they still float. Hold on. I think I might be able to get up there. Yo, let's go. Okay, that was cool. 
Now we're in a serious dilemma, though. How in the hell am I going to get up here? There we go. Okay, we got it. Okay, 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 we actually did it. Oh my god, that was sick. This is probably, like, the most fun level I have played, not in water, throughout the entirety of this, like, this whole video. Alright, let's go ahead and try out three tower. Holy crap, how in the hell am I gonna do this level? There is a small chance that I can use the Tanuki Tail, but honestly, this one might not be possible. Okay, okay, but now there's spikes. I'm scared about the spikes, but we're still good. Holy crap, this might actually work. Oh, but how am I gonna do this part? How am I gonna do this part? I'm gonna do it like this! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, I can just fly! I can literally just- or I can do that. That works too. Duh, I can also just fly up here. For the love of god, open up. Alright. Dude, thank god I've got the white tanuki- Ah! Okay, that was scary. That was so scary. Holy crap. That's pain, but I got a checkpoint. I got a checkpoint, and I think we can actually finish this. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. The checkpoint's all the way up there. That means I have to restart the level. I don't have a choice. Where am I? Whoa! Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, okay, we're going. How in the hell did that work? Oh my god, we made it to the boss. <laughs> We actually made it to the boss. Oh my god. All right, so next we'll be trying out 3-5. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this level. This level has the spikes, not the spikes, the boulders. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. We'll be trying out 3-B next. Oh, mini mushroom. Probably gonna be useful, actually. Okay, so there's no water here. Oh my god. <laughs> this is kind of the play. Just kind of memorize where all the spikes are. This is the play. And um, there's still more after this. Oh god. Okay, we got speed though, we're good. Go, 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 go. Oh my, I thought I was gonna get stuck there. Yo, I have to hit this, I have to hit this! Checkpoint! Yeah! All right, let's freaking go. So next we've got three castle. All right, so the, that seems to work. Is any water gonna spawn? So no water is spawning. It looks like this boss is gonna work properly. Next we got four five, a more traditional water level. Honestly, don't really think this one's gonna be that bad. Oh, a free one up, thank God. I really needed that. Checkpoint already. I can practice I can just speed run this level. Gotta do some uh some tight wall jumps to get up this. I'm like barely Okay, there we go. That's what I was No! Oh, come on! Hey, there we go. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, don't don't you dare fall. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, of course. The classic need the uh, Tanuki suit at the end of the level. My favorite. All right, and there you have it. And next up, we have star three. So water's obviously supposed to be here. Can I just, like, run at the bottom this whole time? Wow. That was very, very short. And now on to star four. Oh, it's an auto-scroller, though. That's kind of crappy. So it's pretty much just waiting the stage. I mean, there's just, there's not much going on here. Now we'll, of course, try out star six, our last normal level before moving on to some DLC. And frankly, I don't think this one's gonna be that bad either. I'm a little scared about this jump. Uh-huh, that's why I was scared. I mean, I knew I was gonna make it still, but how far is this gonna go? Is there land? Where the hell is the land? Okay, one more jump and boom, let's go. Please be enough. Oh my god. Okay, well there you have it. Star 6 is possible. So we'll be trying out the Gold Rush pack. However, there is no water until Course 2. So I'm just gonna real quick just plow through Course 1. You're not really gonna see it. All right, and I think the main thing is just like there's water, or there's supposed to be water underneath the ship. Well, this course got not harder at all. So now we'll be doing the Gold Classics pack. Okay, so I removed the water and it is still there for some reason. The DLC, let's just say, has been a pain in the butt to get working to begin with. Well, I didn't touch any water. So this next one is Course 1 um, Coin Challenge Pack C. Yeah, so there should, there's supposed to be a water, I believe, on the bottom. And there is none right now. So cool. Actually working. Also, this does not look that difficult. Last but not least is the Impossible Pack. This is just Course 1. I have a feeling this is going to be a lot easier, because normally you have to avoid, you know, like a big fish and the purple fish, but now I don't have to worry about that. However, I don't think I can actually clear that jump without the Tanuki suit. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately kind of removed the challenge, but like, there was no way I was making that jump otherwise. 
And that's it. That is it for New Super Mario Bros. 2. So we'll go ahead and finish up with Mario Bros. U and Luigi U. Now it is time to move on to New Super Mario Bros. U, of course, starting with Acorn Plane's blooper. Much appreciated. Oh, wow. I definitely... Okay, I absolutely... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah! Oh, my God. That was scary. Thank God. Okay, I'm really glad I have the P Acorn now. I don't know how else I'd get up here without it. Even, like, Propeller Mushroom would have made... Would have been like, Ah, impossible! Oh, my God. Jesus. Get it! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! We'll see how Water Spout Beach is. Oh yeah, this is supposed to have like a bunch of uh, water geysers. This one honestly might not be that bad as long as there's like some ground to land on, like like there has been so far. This really shouldn't be too terribly hard. Three, two, sparkling waters. I don't know why we're zooming out. We're just we're zooming out because that's a fun feature. I hate the bloopers when when they're just like, you know, when it's not proper water physics. They are so scary. Straight up terrifying. <laughs> ah! He's chilled. He chilled out for me. Ah! I did it again. Oh my god. Ah! Oh! E. Ah! Okay. 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 <sighs> ah! Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. Ah! Ah! No! Go! Don't get hit. Don't get hit. No getting hit. Oh my god, the purple, purple guy. Are you gonna disappear in this game? I don't know if you disappear or not. I have no idea. Ah! I need that, I need that. Okay, I need that, I need that. It doesn't, he does not disappear. That's really scary. I'm scared. I'm scared for my life. I'm scared for... No! I'm at the end. I need the stupid thing for the pipe. Yes! Okay, I got it. Oh my god, that took so long. Next, we have three tower. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be water that raises and stuff with Boom Boom. All right. Boss playing as normal. So now we have Sparkling Water's Haunted Shipwreck. I'm not really sure how doable this is going to be. Okay, now this is what I'm a little worried about. I have to get across this without getting hit. Oh, damn it. It's just kind of, See? Dude, even like that? Like, I can't even fly around. I can't even fly around. I literally have to fly through it. It's possible that's what it is. Let's freaking go. Okay. Now, I want to test something. Can I climb up here and skip this? Nope, I cannot skip this. Oh, come on! And I really can't... Oh, dude, I honestly might need a PA corn for that. Now, okay, I'm actually glad I checked. Oh, huh. Okay, okay, okay. We're chilling up here. We're chilling up here. Ah! Ah! Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh my god, it's actually doable. Next, we have Sparkling Waters 3. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, I forgot. That's right. I think the water guys are supposed to, like, raise you up normally. So, it looks like this level is going to be really easy, which is kind of a relief after the ghost house. My god. Next up, we have uh, Sparkling Waters 4. It's just, like, nothing. This is, like, a curse. It, I don't know. This level just looks cursed without all the water. Sparkling Waters 5, I'm super interested with because the dragon eels could either be very easy to avoid or stupidly difficult. Okay, so the dragon eels are just straight up not spawning. Um, I did not get rid of them. I guess they just require water to move at all. Next, we have Sparkling Water's Castle. Yeah, so here's the typical water section. Um, normally this is somewhat challenging. Oh my god, they're going fast. Made it to the checkpoint. Can I, uh, I guess I could, I'll take this. Oh my, oh my god! They go so fast. Next, we have Frosted Glacier, Flipperous, Flipperous Lake. And um, I believe there's not a lot of water here. There's only a, a few segments. Like, basically like where these bopping boxes are. Um, there's supposed to be water here. But um, otherwise, this will probably be mostly the same. Next, we've got the, uh, the very first airship in the game, the Mighty Cannon Ship. Oh, this is going to be so weird to be able to pull off. Okay, we got him once. Nice. Okay, so we might honestly be okay. Oh, where is he? Hello? Okay, I somehow, I guess I broke the game. So next we have Soda Jungle 5, Deep Sea Ruins. I have a feeling we are definitely gonna need the PA corn for this level. Tiny ceiling. Oh, but I'm kind of screwed. I can't go through that. Oh, I'm just stuck. So now we have Porky Puffer Falls in a Rock Candy Mines. Oh no, but I can't do it. So this one would have definitely been a lot easier if I could go through the pipe. 
because again, the Porky Puffer wouldn't have been a problem. So now we have um, rain clouds, a quick dip in the sky. I believe I removed a bunch of water bubbles from this level. So um, PA corn, definitely required. Or straight right from the beginning, we have to have it. Our final level in Mario Bros. U, we have Superstar Road 3, Swim for Your Life. Oh boy, I have a feeling I'm gonna need the PA corn. Okay, this is fast. This is really damn fast. There's a lot of stuff to worry about. Okay, I can, well, okay, I have this at least. However, I might need the PA corn to reach the pipe at the end. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we 100% need the PA corn. Good boy. Oh, that's still terrifying though. Oh, okay, okay. We're not fine now. We are, I repeat, we are not fine. This is a problem. This is a problem. Help. I love that these guys have despawned in every game except this one, and it's been the most terrifying in this game in particular. Get up! Yes! Let's freaking go, dude! And we are done with Mario Bros. U. Now let's finish things off with Acorn Plains 5. I believe this is where the water used to be. Yeah, there definitely used to be water here. So you're gonna notice a very familiar pattern. A lot of the levels that we played in Mario Bros. U are gonna have the same assets in Luigi U. We definitely need the P, -A the P thingy. The P thing. I need a P. I don't need to pee right now, but you know, sometimes, sometimes you do need to do that, you know? Kicking it off with Sparkling Waters 1. I'm gonna use these and be a gamer. Gamer, let's freaking go. Next, Sparkling Waters 2. I'm very glad I brought in the PA corn because what the hell is all of this? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm fine. Not panic, oh no. That could be a problem potentially. So I might be able to damage boost through this. We're gonna make a, an attempt at it. We're gonna have to fly through that sucker. And what's nice about these yellow cheap cheap is they like intentionally avoid you. Come on, make it, make it, yes, 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 let's freaking go. All right, next we have the tower, the shish kebab tower. Yeah, so this one's supposed to have water geysers or whatever. We shouldn't get them though. It's just boom, boom. I mean, what more am I supposed to say? And now onto our final ghost level of the video, sparkling waters, ghost house. Oh no, no, I lost it. Okay, let's see if I can get through it without the, the uh, suit. Okay, I'm gonna die. Especially if I learn like where, oh my goodness gracious. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah, okay, well that kind of sucks. Just keep going. Can I finish a level like this? So next we have water spout sprint. All the enemies that are spawning in are just falling. Which is so, that all the, the plants, that's so goofy. Now to try out Sparkling Waters 4, the Great Geysers. No ceiling, and uh, that's it, that's the level. Now, last time we played Sparkling Waters 5, we did not see the Dragon Eels, so I'm gonna make the assumption that we're not gonna see them again for this level. And since there's not really gonna be any Dragon Eels, I don't, there they are, okay. That changes things pretty drastically. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh no, that's not good. Can I just clump like this? Oh, yo, look at these wall jumps. Yeah, everything's just falling. And is that it? I think that's it. Now onto Three Castle. Another water section we're supposed to be dealing with. That was incredibly, that was like stupid easy. Next we've got Frosted Glacier 5. I believe the water, uh, once again for this one, it's just kind of hanging out at the bottom. Oh, I think this is where water is. I think it's in this section. Next we have Frosted Glacier Flipperous Flipperous Flows. Say that five times fast. Um, oh my god, Jesus. I hate these things. Honestly, the flippers are like the scariest enemy in this whole game. So, like, um, the other Frosted Glacier level, this play is basically the same. Soda Jungle Ship is next. Okay, so let's see if, uh, we run into an issue again here. So this could potentially be a lot easier of a fight. Okay, he's still in the battlefield. Now onto Soda Jungle 5. Oh, is this that vertically based water level? Yes, okay. This one ought to be kind of cool, actually. It is also super funny how they just don't recognize me. Oh, but I, now I can freeze them. Okay, this changes everything. This, oh my god, this changes everything. Oh my god, that was scary. That was kind of cool, though. There you have it. Next up, Rock Candy Mines 2, Porky Puffer Cavern. I don't really see this one being difficult, because again, the Porky Puffer is just not going to show up. Superstar Road 3, Star Coin Deep Dive. Oh no, not the fish again. <laughs> the scary fish. Now, I'm going to try to... I really want to keep this propeller, honestly. Have a feeling I'm going to need it again at the very end. Oh my god, these fish are terrifying. 
I'm so glad I didn't get hit because I don't think I would have been able to get up there. Damn, there you have it. There you have it. We have officially attempted every single new Super Mario Bros. water level without water. So if you enjoyed this video, you know, make sure to smash like, subscribe. That's about it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. We have a lot more coming this month. I'll talk with you all soon. Take care.